All right, what I'm about to show you is some of the best stuff I know. So if you want high level confidence in the ocean, you want control of your body, your mind, and your breath when you're out in those heavy situations, this is going to teach you exactly how to do that. And this is the emotional side. This is part three of, of breath training. So how to control your emotions, how to um, regulate, shut off, live with those emotional alarms that are sure to come up. So emotional alarms are fear and panic. So if you react to fear and panic, that ends your breath hold time right there. That is so for some people, if you're out in a heavy situation, you panic. could be the last thing you ever do, just to be real. Um, so it's really important to, um, to do this stuff. It's, all, it's about respect for the ocean, um, the power that it has. But, you know, we use that respect and we use that resistance from the ocean to make ourselves stronger. So it's, uh, the ocean holds us, me and you, to a very high standard and it holds us accountable. Um, if you don't show up prepared, um, it's going to let you know right away. So and the cool thing about this is if you can stay calm in those situations i always say this that the the requirements to thrive in the ocean exceed uh the requirements for most most other activities um because being forced to hold your breath is very very serious and um uh so that but this is uh it's a very cool workout um and the, the longer that i do this the more that i realize it's all about the mental game the emotional stuff so I, i'm always on the phone um bringing on new people into our program i just hear stories from all over the world the mental emotional part is huge and it's and you know what i'm learning this more and more because it becomes more and more the more i hear these stories but in all honesty when i look back it all started with the mental emotional stuff for me so before any of this training started before hydro mind i had my moment where i panicked in the ocean that's how it all started so just a long story short man i, I paddled out on the best day of the year this is over 10 years ago now um and I was out of shape. I didn't have any business being out there. I was nervous going out. I had the feelings that I shouldn't, but I did anyways because I'd never had problems with fitness in the past. Um, I let myself go. So in this instance, um, it, was, I was a, it was a long paddle. It's a beach break. It was a super long paddle. Massive. I used all my energy. I was like almost ready to quit. wasn't going to make it out past the break. But then I saw an opening, right? And I, I went for it. I sprinted. I emptied my gas tank. used every ounce of energy that I had thinking I was out the back, but really the biggest set of the whole year comes in and I was in the impact zone. Um, so empty gas tank as tired as I've ever been in the ocean. I took all the waves on the head by the final wave. Um, when I was held down the thoughts, fear, panic, like I, like I'm going to drown thoughts. Um, if I wasn't so out of breath, I would have screamed for help. Um, it was insane, man. Um, and so when I popped up, I knew I couldn't take another hold down and I looked up and it was flat. So, um, the ocean, um, gave me a, a severe whipping within an inch of my life. Um, and I had, so I had no energy. I couldn't even paddle to catch a wave. Um, I ended up just slowly getting washed back into shore onto the rocks actually. Um, and it was in that moment, um, I sat there and everyone's got their version of the story. Some were some not as bad, but, um, where they get where they felt the power of the ocean. And it's like, you can either go two ways. You can let that, uh, you can hold on to that and carry it with you forever and let it hold you back or let it be the spark that makes you better. So if you're watching this, um, you're probably number two. For me, I sat there on those rocks and thought forever. I'm like, how did I almost drown at the place where I learned to surf? I'd never been out of shape before. This was the first for me. Um, so I vowed to never let that happen again. Um, and at the time there wasn't any training available. Um, so I searched online. I asked people what I could do. Nobody knew anything. Everyone said the only way to stay in shape for surfing was to actually surf. Um, and I wasn't willing to believe that. So um, I created it myself and I started from zero. I didn't know anything. The first workout I did, um, I would hop onto an elliptical machine at the gym and I would just sprint and pretend and in my mind, imagine that I'd be washing those rocks again and that, that would motivate me. So not a bad start, but uh, not as effective as what we do now. So in this workout I'm about to show you right here, um, it does it all. Um, it increases your breath hold time. It increases your emo emotional control. By stressing the body and the breath, you stress the emotions. Um, and you can learn to sit with it. Cool thing about this workout um, is it's, you don't need anything. You can just start doing it. So I call it emotional intercept. And I call it that because it intercepts the negative emotions before they happen. So you put yourself in a real stressful state um, from the safety of your home and practice recovering from it as quick as possible. Um, just like the other one, but this one we do it on low oxygen. So we're, we're holding our breath on an exhale major, major difference. It lights up the, the, your nervous system like crazy. If, if you do it for the first time, man, you're going to feel it. Like you get this like 
total body sensation. It like really, really, uh, it lights up your nervous system and it makes you feel like you're in danger. But when you can learn to sit with that um, and stay calm and keep doing the workout, it's massive. So I'm going to demonstrate, I'm, I've got a demonstration video here, so I'm just going to explain it really quickly. So you do it seated. So I'm on a mat here. Um, all, all these kind of breathing exercises are done on the floor because that's where it's the safest. If you get lightheaded, you can fall over. So a little warning, if that happens, you even get, if you get dizzy, you're not meant to get dizzy. It's not meant to push you to that limit. It's uh, You hold to a medium stronger to breathe. But for safety, it's done on the floor. So start out here. Watch me. I'm exhaling. Big exhale. Blowing out all my air out the nose. And then I finish on the mouth. <sighs> completely empty my lungs. And I'm rolling backwards. So the breath is held. So I'm out of oxygen. So I'm getting an urge to breathe immediately. Key point here, eyes are closed. Um, taking in visual information um, burns oxygen. Um, so your brain uses approximately 20% of your oxygen thinking um, and com com computing all the visual and information you're getting from the world, the sounds, the noises, uh, the visions, all that stuff. Closing your eyes conserves oxygen, just the truth. Um, so I, I close my eyes underwater sometimes. Um, and I, it depends. I, I, I mostly close my eyes underwater. And the only time I wouldn't is if it's like a really small day. Um, and I don't need to open my eyes to know which way is up when you have a leash, right? Because you can always, that's always your guide because it's floating. But anyways, in, in exercise too, I, I do that. And it's funny, you'll see in this workout, as I roll more, I start getting off center. And it happens all the time where I just, I end up off the mat. But anyways, so here we start. Do as many as you can to a medium to strong urge to breathe. Again, not meant to push your limits. When you feel your alarm system, your alarm system start to light up, you feel that emotional and uh, the panic and the fear, that's all you need. You just need to trigger that. Um, and as soon as that happens, you stop. So we'll see here. I'm going to do a few. I think I do five or six. Most of you will only be able to do one. Um, and then so, so if you see there, so my lungs are empty. I'd already blown it out. So the very first thing I do is an inhale. So the thing about the inhale you want to draw it out as long as you can because you want you don't want to go back into the breath hold until or you want you want to make it last as long as the recovery as long as possible so slow slowly fill your lungs up make it as long and enjoyable as possible very very important and then you got to exhale again so you'll see here big 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 inhale slow 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 and there's the exhale slow 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 and then more rolls and that's it um, so at, if to start off, you'll probably likely, which lots of people do can only do one roll and then they do one inhale and they have to stop and they take multiple inhales. Hey, that's where you're going to start. Um, and, but that, and that's also a good way to measure, um, how well you can survive in heavy situations. So if you're struggling there, don't paddle out. Um, but the, this exercise, it's the, it's the measuring stick, but it's also, um, uh, the, the, what, what improves you, right? It's the exercise. So, um, yeah, you can do this, um, once a week is enough. Um, so the cool thing about this stuff, when you, one thing that people always say to me, um, and that I've noticed as well too, is that, so when you start doing it, it's very stressful. You are very in your body. You can't separate your mind from the uncomfortable sensations, but when you start to get good at it, it starts to become euphoric, which is really, really incredible. Um, and it almost feels good. So those massive inhales you take are just like, oh, just like pure euphoria. And then even when your, your alarm system starts going off, your nervous system lights up, it's almost just like it becomes normal. It's like desensitization or exposure. It makes you be able to stay calm in those situations and just do your rolls calmly, take a calm inhale. When you do that, it reflects perfectly in the ocean. So and then one thing, so when you get to that euphoric state, um, the time just flies by. So I do it on a timer. Um, and I don't even know it seems like, so with my timers this long, it feels like it's this long. It's over like that. And I'm not in stress. It's insane. So that reflects perfectly in the ocean. So when you're in a heavy situation, you're just boom, you're in. And so when you do this at home in repetition, which is really important, um, it'll make it a subconscious reflex, which I always talk about because when things get heavy, you're not going to be able to remember what I said in this video. It has to just bam happen it has to be who you are. Um, and, but when you do have that, man, surfing becomes so much more fun. So first of all, it's about respect for the ocean. But number two, you'll catch the best waves of your life. Confidence equals enjoyment. So when you're, it's impossible to be having fun when you're exhausted or scared.
Um, so when you have this, the, the, the enjoyment just opens up like in a massive way. So uh, emotional intercept, a must have. And to get these things to make it a subconscious reflex, once a week with this is lots, lots. And you'll make big spikes in your oxygen efficiency. You'll be building your, um, your subconscious reflexes to do the optimal thing um, as a reflex. And that's it. So the, I've seen this work so fast in so many people. Like there's so many examples I could, could talk about. One of the biggest ones was this guy, Dan Harmer, who's an amazing member of our group. Um, he, there's, a, there's a testimonial of him on my page. So if you go back a couple of videos, it's his story, Dan Harmer. And he had a, a really, really bad experience where he hit his head on the reef um, and he was temporarily paralyzed in the water from his neck down. So he's just floating face up, only his face, waves crashing over him still forever till his friends got to him. And like he was like, yeah, like thought, thought that was it. He, he did survive and he got the movement back in his body through lots of rehab. But what he didn't realize is that he was mentally and emotionally traumatized. So he started getting insane panic attacks in his day-to-day -day life, driving his car down the highway or whatever, right? Um, and there was no, he didn't know how to stop it. And taking our program, he said, was the last thing he was going to try before we started therapy and psychiatry because he, it was ruining his life. And the cool thing about it, man, in the first month of low oxygen training, so the first time he did it, the breath hold, um, he got an instant uh, anxiety, but he kept, he kept doing it. Um, and then almost immediately he started seeing the results. So what he was doing was he was lighting up his nervous system, basing his anxiety on his terms. So it wasn't happening randomly when he's driving. So it's happening under his terms with the tools to control it. And so, um, he didn't say he didn't eliminate his anxiety completely yet, but he said now his worst, his worst days are like his best days before. So it's like he flipped it. So now he's like healing himself. He's surfing better than ever. And he's rebuilt his nervous system, his thoughts, his emotions, and his connection to his body and his mind. That's how powerful this stuff is. And that's my experience as well too. Although I didn't have, well, you know what? I didn't hit my head, but I thought I was going to die. So yeah, this stuff's real, man. I'm super happy to share it with you because it's really at the end of the day, I always like to say this, like if you look at what we do on the surface, it's fitness stuff. But what we're offering in the world is the ability to catch more waves and catch better waves. So if you break that down even further, it's we're a quality of life company. We're offering people quality of life. So you see Dan Harmer um, now enjoying his day-to-day -day life, enjoying the ocean more. So how you show up in the ocean is how you show up in life. So if you can thrive in a stressful, crazy, powerful environment and catch waves and like actually be part of it and like and not feel like it's a uh, uh, confrontational and you're just on waves, man, it fills you with joy, but also it fills you with self-esteem and confidence and you and emotion, just those emotional rewards. And you bring that into your day-to-day -day life. So you show up like a boss in the ocean, show up like a boss in your life and your control of who you are. <laughs> and so, um, as a surfer, having that ability is, it, it's something special and uh, I got to pinch myself every day that I'm able to offer it to you. So, um, if you've liked this series of videos or anything that I do, um, I really want, I'd really like to help you further. Um, we ha we have a program, the Waterman elite. I, I, I chose the name Waterman because to me, a Waterman is someone who's as comfortable in the water as they are on land. So that's my goal for you. I want you to get out there, have tons of confidence, tons of energy, tons of waves and leave the ocean feeling more energized than when you went out there having caught tons of waves. And, but I, even as important, I want you to take that into your personal life, into your relationships, into your career with your children, everything, your self-esteem. I want you to love what you see in the mirror. And if you show up in the ocean that way, guarantee all those things are going to go up and they're going to be the best of your life. So, um, that, that's what we offer. Um, if you're interested in what we do, um, there's a link below this video. It's a free video that I made for you. And it's a step-by-step -step guide that shows you our process, how we take people like Dan Harmer, who are in the worst state of their life, um, surfing wise and emotional wise, and bring them to the best that they've been and give them the tools to use that they have forever. So if you take this course once, you have these tools forever. And the cool thing about these tools, they work at every level, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and beyond. Um, you, there's never a wave. There's never a, a, a moment in the ocean where you don't need great paddle strength, where you don't need great oxygen efficiency, where you don't need control your body. You will always need those. And so this training will always help you get to the next level forever. It's the most valuable stuff you can do as a surfer. Um, if you're serious about it. So, and I'd really love to offer it to you. So, um, we've grown so fast recently. Um, we can't take everyone. 
So we, we're filtering it down at this point. So uh, if all this stuff resonates with you, if the video below resonates with you, book a call. You'll speak with me, someone from my team. Um, and yeah, we'll see if we're a good fit for each other. And I'll let you make the decision whether you want to be a part of what we're doing or not. So all you got to do is click that video. So my name is Kyle Russ. This is Hydro Mind. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.